Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, we're going to be creating this look. I did it a while back and got so many requests to do this video in this look. So here's the video. If you guys want to see how I created this look, then just go ahead and keep watching. <laughs> First, we're going to be starting off with priming the eyes, and I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden to just make sure that the eyes are super primed and that the eyeshadows last all day. Then I'm going to be taking my new favorite palette, the Dose of Colors Friendcation Palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade Basic and just setting down my lids with that. It was a little dark, but it's okay. It didn't matter too much. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Necessary, and I'm really going to be blowing that out in the crease, really concentrating it, but then blowing it out on the edges. This is going to be a super blown out look. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Girl By, and I'm going to be concentrating this in the crease as well, just a little bit lower, and I'm really packing this in the crease. I really want this to be basically the main shade that's right above the shade that's going on our lid. And it's just such a beautiful, deep, maroonish, dusty color. So pretty. Then for the main lid shade, we're going to be taking the shade Try Me, and I'm just going to be applying this with my finger to my lids and... It is so stunning, like truly probably one of the most beautiful shades I've ever seen in my life. And this is even going up into the crease as you can see, I'm like really taking this, basically making this like the big blown out shade that you just see on the lid and then the crease shade above it is just going to add a little bit of dimension. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Just a Kiss and I'm going to be putting that in just the center of the eyes and I think this just added such a pretty like spotlight in the middle it was so pretty and I'm really, really glad I put that in the middle so pretty then I'm just blending out those edges with that same shade girl by and yeah it's just going on the crease and it's almost a perfect match for the try me shade it's just so pretty together I love it then I'm just wiping any fallout and making sure the edges are nice and clean Then I'm just curling my lashes, putting on my telescopic carbon black mascara from L'Oreal, and then I'm applying a black liner to my waterline and applying some lashes. These are my favorite. And then I'm going in with my base products, my moisturizer, and this Touch and Soul Nor Pore Blum primer. That's really hard to say, but I did okay. And I put way too much on, as you can see. So I just blended that out into my skin. This is a super glam look, so when I do super glam looks, I use the Dermacol foundation just because it gives me the most flawless base of all time. So I'm just putting this all over my face. Then I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer and I'm placing this underneath my eyes. I'm just really loving this concealer lately. I really have to make sure my eyes are pretty moisturized underneath before I get into it. But when I do do that, <laughs> when I do do that, um, the under eyes look really great and it just lasts a really long time on my under eyes. Then I'm going in with the Never's number seven powder and I'm just putting that underneath the eyes. Then I'm just immediately dusting that off just to keep everything super seamless. Then I'm going in with a puff for the rest of my face. This is the first time I had done this. And yeah, I was just trying it out and I think I like it.
Then I'm going in with the Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer, and I'm just bronzing up my face. And this, I had just revisited this bronzer. I hadn't used it in a while, and I fell in love with it all over again. It's just so beautiful, so smooth, so seamless on the skin. It just looks so good. Then we're going back into the eyes and I'm using the shades Churro and Girl By. Then I'm going in with this brown eyeliner from Jordana and I forget the name of it, but I will make sure to leave it down below in the description box so you guys can grab that if you'd like. But it's a super inexpensive eyeliner and it works so well on staying on my waterline. Then I'm taking that telescopic mascara again and just putting that on my lower lashes, my favorite mascara for the lower lash line. So good. Then I'm taking such a good highlighter. This is the Flexitarian Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop and I'm just putting this on my inner corners and as you can see, it's just so, so beautiful. Then I'm going in with Milani Luminoso Baked Blush, revisiting my old loves and it's just so beautiful. It's, I think it's still like my absolute favorite blush. It's so good. Then I'm taking that Flexitarian highlighter again and really building this up on my cheeks. So I'm here for a while, just kind of blending it out, really intensifying it and making sure that it's super massaged into the skin. I feel like that is the best way to apply this. Then I'm taking the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Vanilla Sky and I'm just lining my lips with this. And then I'm taking this All May lipstick in the shade Go Wild. And then I'm taking this Maybelline lipstick in the shade Bare All. And I'm placing this all over my lips. And this is the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay guys, and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And once you've subscribed, please make sure to turn on the little bell notification so you're notified every single time I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.